Good day, cellmates, and happy um, New Year uh, 2020. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Whole year gone by and another just begun. Uh, hopefully you all had a safe uh, New Year's Eve celebrations, or if you were just home, and I hope you enjoyed your letting in of the New Year. So today I'm excitingly doing my very first pour for 2020. So pretty excited about that. And I'm going to run through a, a couple of the new products that I think I incorporated in my last video of, of 19, uh, 19, uh, yeah, 1919, no, 2019. What am I, 1919? Going fruit looping and I haven't even had a drink. Okay, the wonderful find that for Australian pourers, the clear Montmartre clear glue that I've had absolutely fantastic results in cells, drying beautifully. Um, I'm going to do a pour with that again today uh, and show you, and then I'll show you my other new product that I think I showed you in the last video. But this, I just want to run through how I get the best results with this. I, if it's a new container, I take out, I leave in seven, uh, what I just approximately, I leave in the container 70%, pour the rest into a, a jug. And then I add 30% or my approximate 30%. Now I let my tap run and let the water get warm even warm to even hot not too hot that i can't put my hand under it and then i run that water into the glue about this much and leave that much to give the glue a real good shake when you shake it when you first mixing it up this is what it it looks it goes a bit foamy like i've just mixed this one so when you first add your warm water and you mix it it takes a while it goes a bit foamy so what I do is I try to make up my mix of glue and water uh, at least the day before. So like I've had a big order of these come because I love this glue so much and the Elmer's glue is uh, so difficult to get in Australia. So I have uh, mix it up uh, and then it goes all bubbly like that. So then I just leave that till the next day before I pour it into uh, my paint. And I just want to quickly show you so you get the how much I add. I've noticed that I do use more of this particular PVA glue me pouring medium that I'm making up. I add more to my paint than I did with the Elmer's glue oil. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Um, it's like I think it works out like about 50-50. Now this is, I've gone right over to the Montmart uh, Studio Acrylics because you can get them in Australia online, the online um, supplier that I use, which I always put the link down below. You can get all these products from them. Um, and this is easy to get almost around the world, like you can get it in the US on, um, Oh, eBay or Amazon there's a lady Jan Trent she lovely lady put a link up um, so hop over to my uh, acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page and Jan had a link there to this uh, Montmartre products in the US so I'm kind of just going through paints that I had, like some global paints and El Dorado and Burroughs paints that I did have, and I will use them up, um, but these are just out and out win the race. So, um, I am not using on my um, two litres, I'm not using the little push pump applicator that they provide because I just can't get the stuff because it's so thick and creamy I just can't get the stuff to come out the pump applicator so um, I don't use it so there you go so I've got I'm trying to use this clear um, cup to show you so I've put that much paint in there 
So what I'll do is I'll just pour some in. I won't pour, I'll just pour some in to start with. So it's better to pour less than more, but either way you could either, if it was too runny, you add some more paint. And if it's not, if it's too thick, you add some more of your homemade pouring medium. So this, that's what I do. So just give it a real good stir, keep stirring. And if it seems a little bit lumpy or anything, not that this does, but I've had one color that just seemed a bit bitty, but because I always make up my paints 24 hours before, or at least a good so many hours before I paint, that seems to um, all dissipate when I come back to stir them up before I start painting. So that's probably, it leaves a little, it leaves a little trace of paint in there. So I would consider that about the right consistency. So that was about 50-50. So like I said, it's just better to add less to start with and start stirring. Or if you find, oh no, that's too runny, just add some more of your, your acrylic paint. But um, I've used this glue in a few different paint brands and it's equally as good. Somebody said they had clear glue crack on them. I'm not sure if it was the Montmartre. I know that somebody had tried the Elmer's clear glue and that is not the same as this glue. It, it does not leave good results, but this one does. Absolutely excellent. So I'm praying that Montmartre don't change that because they've got a really good product there. So, okay, so I've mixed that and what I would do, like I say, I always mix up my paints. You know, I like to be 24 hours, two drops, that's all of the Helmar silicon. You can get this in the US on eBay or Amazon, I think under $7. Um, and you can certainly get it on the online store in Australia. It's definitely under under six or seven dollars and it lasts for ages because you truly only need one or two drops in a cup this size um, and it does a great job and it hardly leaves any residue whatsoever. So I'll give that a good stir and normally I would just put it, put it aside, put all my paints aside and cover them with a damp a cloth. So all the paints that I've got ready to pour today I did do last night. I made up last night all excitedly because I wanted to use a few new products that um, my online store that I use they do send me products to try um, and I give them an honest opinion if I think I want to um, promote them to you. I don't get paid any money for your sales that you purchase off them, but they certainly um, send me all the new products to try so you can be, you know, so we can all benefit from that. And I'm very happy to help out online um, family run businesses. So there you go, I've, I've taped my bottom. Don't sound real good, does it? I've taped, I masking taped my. Um, canvas and I've put my giant push pins in. All of this is available online very cheaply uh, and then it makes it you keep a nice clean canvas at the back. If you wanted to keep that clear too you put a sheet of paper over it so you don't get any of it messy. So here we go I'm going to try the um, Montmartre Studio Acrylics and I'm doing it with the uh, Montmartre craft glue and the Helmar silicone and I've just had I've done this you've seen the painting I did before so here we go again I'm just going to swipe in a a different color this time well as you know I, I like to swipe in navy I don't like swiping in black or white um, I like swiping navy um, burnt umber, oh, all sorts. Anyway, we're going to give this a try. So, 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 what I'm going with to start with is the orange, and it's just the orange in the uh, Montmartre Studio acrylics. So I'm going to do uh, the style that I like doing, just so um, 
I can see how this works out with this product and the new little heat gun that I'm going to use for all those people that are scared to death of the butane torch if you watch my last video I introduced it there um, my art supplier that I get my materials from the online Capriol Shabby Chic sent it me and says please try this and give us an honest opinion and I am gobsmacked I love it so all the people that are frightened of using oh, I'm not going to use that just yet um, are frightened of using the um, butane but scary butane torch and setting your house on fire these little heat guns which I will show you are the absolute bees knees bees knees so this is the Brilliant Red in the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. Really nice, deep, juicy red. Juicy red, should I say. Now I'm going to go turquoise, which is beautiful from the Montmartre. And I love playing with this turquoise too. Add in white to take it down or the dark blue to make it go teal. So this is a really good, useful colour to have in your arsenal of colours. So I will just do that, do that, do that. And I will add, this, this is a white, oh, no, this is a white that I made up yesterday. So I'm going to just put a bit of this in the mix. And we'll see how it all performs with the new heat heat gun that I have. I'm really, really happy about this because I know there's lots of people who are so, oh, too scared. I'm going to burn my house down. Husband won't. He's not happy with me using the gun. Um, but regardless of that, you should always keep a... Um, fire extinguisher in your work, whether it's you're working in your kitchen whether your kitchen is your art space or your garage or a shed or a bedroom please 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 if you're using the butane torch have your um, fire extinguisher handy as you know my son is a fireman and he tells me all the time please tell your viewers Jill to have that gun uh, have the um, fire extinguisher handy and make sure you know how to use it and where the pin is he did come again the other other night and uh, come into my art room and said show me how you get that um fire extinguisher off the wall i want to know that you know how to do it so i had to show him like he was the teacher and i was the pupil so but that's good i'm glad that he's you know um, worried for my safety <laughs> burning the house down well that's a little that's okay deliciosa I actually wish that I'd done that with the turquoise in there put a bit more deeper blue in it because I love I love 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 the um, colour that it goes to the teal okay so 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 we get to that stage Will I or won't I add a bit of blue? Just might add this real deep uh, fa phyllo, phyllo, phyllo blue. Just a little bit of swizzles in here. Swizzle sticks. I just want to um, tell you guys just how probably emotional you've made me feel because of the comments and the messages that I have got about um, enjoying my art, crazy art journey and my crazy experiments and the lovely, lovely comments I'm getting from you. And I'm just so humbled and so over the moon, over the moon happy. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it so much, I really, really do. Um, appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't subscribed please do so uh, and hit the notification button so you just get a, note, a little notification 
when I upload one of my crazy experiments again. Um, but yeah, I'm just so, so grateful for you all. Thank you, thank you. And thank you again. Okay, I'm going to swipe in yellow. It may not work, and it may work. So bear with me, guys. We'll give it a go. Okay, I have had really beautiful swipes in yellow. And the yellow does the most fantastic swipe if you're using lots of blues and the turquoise and dark teal so have a go at that too that's so gorgeous okay just going through with my lo wonky line of yellow wonkiness and I'll just grab my trusty trusty plastic file divider you get these plastic file dividers I don't know packs of 610 from office supply work so the best swipe tool you can keep using them over and over again because you just put them, um, just wash them or wipe them off. And just keep going and keep going. Now, the yellow has created green look in that, but we'll just see. It might not be my favourite colour that I've stirred up there, but we'll see. Don't um, fret pet. Don't fret pet. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's going to be a stunner. Okay. This will be interesting to see how my new little heat gun works with this. Got that a bit wet. Um, heat gun works with this one. So testing new ground for you all again with these products. I uh, really hope that you can all get hold of these products and give them a go. Because I did, I think his name was John on there. Guy John said he couldn't get cells no matter how he tried and he's tried all the ways that we, I just can't believe that. But you know, because you get abundance of cells with nearly every product. So that's pretty, would be frustrating if you just wasn't getting them and everybody else was. Okay. All right, this is looking rainbowish. Oh, what have I done here? Oh my God, I've got paint from one end of the, I must have had it on the cloth. And I've got it from one end of the garage to the other. Oh, sorry about that guys. Just watch the cells develop. One second with my um, heat gun. Oh, wow. All right, just plugging the heat gun in. So this is the little gadget. It's under $30, so it's very cheap for you guys. Under $30, and you don't have to keep buying gas bottles. It's much safer because it runs at a lower temperature. It doesn't blow your work around. Um, and it's just there to... So this is the new little... I showed you in the last video, but anyone that hasn't seen it, this is the new heat tool. So simple, easy. So you've got the little stand, so I don't go and put it down and burn my table. Mabel, okay. So it's just got one little switch, so it's you don't even have to think about what... Just press the switch and we'll see how this creates the cells. First of all, it seems to come up like little champagne cells. Look, tiny little champagne cells. And it must be, as the heat gun gains heat itself, then it brings up the cells. Just gorgeous. I just love it because it's not dangerous. You're not going to go and burn your house down with it. But look at the cells it's bringing up. Beautiful. Look at the cells just coming up. And it's, it's not fiercely blowing like a blow dryer and it's not like a commercial heat gun 
This is a carnival colours, I reckon. <laughs> Mardi Gras, there you go. Mardi Gras. Beautiful. Okay, that's probably an overload of cells, but I just I wanted to show you how good this little gadget. Where's my box to it? Okay. I'm not sure if you can get this uh, in America and UK, but maybe um, if you Google it, you will. But certainly if you're in Australia, this is a must have. Look at the cells I've bought up. I bought up way much more cells than I <laughs> probably wanted because I wanted to show you how it was just so magic at bringing up the cells. So this is definitely the uh, carnival, carnival pour because it looks like all the um, tutti fruity colours that I've done before. As you know, I love my bright colours, but um, I do love a yellow swipe. But I'm going to try and do a yellow swipe for you with the dark blues and dark teals because uh, that's magic, really magic. And also with the purple, it's really nice going over purple. But look at this, absolutely super duper. So I'll give you a close up. Um, and I know that you're all saying at this point, I bet you, I bet you she'll balloon, I bet you she will. But um, I just might give it a little try, mightn't I? Okay, look at the super cells. Probably uh, doing the yellow is not such a good example, but uh, through here. But when I go close with my camera, you will see that those cells are just stunning, stunning. So just while I've got you, I would just do one little baby balloonish. Might even use my little um, water balloon just to show you. You could leave it like that if you're happy with that. But really, doing different balloon embellishments is so much fun and brings up so much. It's just the little balloon filled with a bit of water that I've had for quite a number of weeks. If you follow my paint journey, you'll know that I've had this little balloon. And look. Look at the things you can do with it. It's pretty amazing. So the paint is way too wet to really do this. You get better results when you leave it, but I've got to go in and make some dinner. <laughs> so, well, I haven't got to, but I would like to go and make some dinner for me and my husband, because well, my husband and I, should I say, we're on our own after having visitors and it's our first night on our own so I'm going to you know bring the romance back in and I'm gonna do a candle and I'm gonna do a nice meal and I'm gonna have a nice glass of wine and we're gonna talk about our plans for oh the new year oh my god that looks so cool I just wanted to show you what you can bring up in your pour uh, and I know lots of people have said they're not real good with the balloon, but trust me, it just gets better with the practice. Um, but if you were trying this, just leave your paint to dry a little bit, um, dry off, probably half an hour, an hour or so, and you will be very happy you did. So there you go. I'll put some photos on the end of this, of the dry results my my um carnival tutti frutti pour and until next time guys thank you so much for joining me so appreciate you please subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you again next time bye